As a musical talent yourself, what do you think of some of the new groups that are out? There are a lot of, lot of good music today. Oh, I, there's always some good ones. Yeah. yeah. This young lady has... Uh... <laughs> Are you getting too old already? I sound like an old folk. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I like myself. Stephen Foster myself. Yes. <laughs> Here is a uh, unique young singer. She's uh, just leaving for Australia and Japan and going to begin her American tour at the Ritz in New York City on April 19th and 20th. Her uh, debut album is called She's So Unusual. Would you welcome, please, Sydney Lauper. over there. You're well, looking, looking for your shoes? Well, my shoe just flies all over. Uh. 
<laughs> you're, you're very, you look like you're having a great deal of fun out there. Oh, I Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it said. The review said you look like you're having a wonderful time in front of the audience. Oh, I have a great time. Yeah. See, so if I wasn't doing this, Johnny, I might have been a brain surgeon or a rocket scientist. Could have been something like that. <laughs> Yeah, or visiting professor at Harvard or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you... you know, my friends, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just That's all right. My friends, uh, they tell me you got a lot of... See, you guys don't know, but he's got this whole thing back here where he could work where he could make it snow yeah, we... and the sun shine. You know, when people tell you a sad story, you ever feel like making it rain? Yeah. yeah. Do you ever do that? I haven't done that. It's not a bad idea. Just change the backdrop during the conversation. Yeah, and then, then you could have it snow, and then the sun comes through the snow as the story gets more involved. <laughs> good idea. Never thought of that. It's a good idea. Just change the set. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can make it very visual. Yeah. <laughs> you're very visual. Yes. Yeah. You know, your, your album is called She's Unusual. So unusual, right? Yeah. Now, people call you unusual, but you don't see yourself as unusual, do you? No, not really. <laughs> don't you think you're somewhat different than, say, uh, the average uh, gal your age? No. <laughs> You don't? No, but, uh, see, I think that, I think you dress unusual. Really? No, I guess that's Vince, true. I think it's very attractive. Yeah? It's very peg. Very peg? Peg. What does that mean, square? No, no, oh. no. No, old you don't fashion, know about old... the peg principle? What's the peg principle? Do you watch wrestling? <laughs> Not, not often. You yeah. mean, you mean from Olympic uh, auditorium? The... Oh no, no, no! Professional wrestling. You know, I have my personal advisor is Captain Lou Albano. I don't know if you know him, Captain Lou. I don't suppose you'd remember Gorgeous George, would you? That's way before your time. I was a big fan of Gorgeous George. Yeah. He's going to that great mat up in the sky, I think. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> now, what's the pig principle? Well, it stands for politeness, etiquette, and grooming. And Captain Lou has come up with this concept, you see. And, um, you see, for, you know, you've met a lot of rockers, and I know you have, all of you, and you know right away when you meet a rock and roller, they're very polite, you see? And so politeness would really kind of go in with rock and roll and wrestling. And <laughs> also... Also, um, etiquette. Etiquette. Very, very important because you know that a lot of times in this business, we do a lot of business over lunch or dinner. So if you don't know how to eat right, you know, or if you, somebody says something to you, you got to know how to answer real quick with food in your mouth and not let it look like you have food in your mouth. Because if you spill food on somebody, it could blow a whole deal. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Tacky, tacky. It's very tacky. And also grooming, grooming is everything because rock and roll is very fashionable and yeah. so is wrestling. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you ever noticed the Samoans. See, Captain Lou Albano, he manages the Samoans, the wild Samoans. Oh, I've seen them. Oh, they Oh, yeah, the tag team guys. Yeah, 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 they're champions. They're champions. They lost their, um, their belt, but that was because, uh, Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson, they cheated. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> that disturbed me for a long time. It did. It disturbed me very much. I you think know, there should be an investigation into that. I think so, too. I, you know, and a lot of times... When, when as soon as the are, summit meeting is out of the way in Russia, they ought to get I right to that. I think so. I think so. Because, you know, a lot of times even when you watch wrestling, now this is how, how great Captain Wu, his mental capacity is. He meditates on all these things. When you watch wrestling and you see them yell pig at Captain Wu, you probably wonder what that means, right? <laughs> well, I didn't know what pig meant. What's pig mean now? Is that it a... means politeness integrity with a little bit of intelligence there and grooming. Ah. <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel like Bernard Baruch. <laughs> you know, just going back through the centuries. Uh, now, you're, you're, you're groomed. Um... I'm groomed very well. Yes, you are. <laughs> Who groomed? Do you groom yourself? Yes, me and Patrick. Patrick. Patrick Lucas. He helps me. Uh-huh. 
He's my makeup artist. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's groomer. Are these your groomer and makeup artist? Yeah, I groom, too. We both groom together. Yeah. We this... groomers. The groomers. The groomer. Right. You're the groomee, he's the groomer. Yes, uh, kind of like that. Are these designer uh, type of things? No, no. These are from, um, well, I shop at Screaming Mimi's in New York, and I shop at a lot of different places, bargain basements, right. some garage sales, and things that people don't think are really neat anymore. Find a lot of nice things here. Yeah, I like yeah. them. I'm going to do this first. Then okay. We'll come back. Okay, right. we'll be right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> okay, we want to get right in here. Watch you through this? Yes. Time after time? Yeah. Okay, it's all yours, Cindy. Okay. Okay, I'll walk you through it.
Oh, come on. That's all right. That's nice. Great. You're fun to watch. You really are. You gotta come back when you finish your tour and be with us if you'd like. Yeah. I'd love to have you. Yes, yeah, very famous thing to do, I guess. Is it? Johnny, you know what? Before what? I go, yeah. since I've been in Hollywood and everything, I thought I might show you something that I learned here. Yeah. And that's, I think, I think it's, but no offense now. Sure. The Hollywood smile. The Hollywood smile? Yeah. What I think it goes like this. <laughs> a little phony, isn't it? Yeah. No, no. Can you, you want to do that? Yeah, I like this one. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We just have uh, just have about 30 seconds here. Not only are you a good entertainer, you're a wonderful guest, too. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, will you come back? And... You're fun to talk to. You. So are you. When you get back from tour, would you drop in and see us again? Definitely. You're going to Hawaii, you said? Yeah, I got a grass skirt and a moon. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Cindy. You're thank welcome. you, Bob, for being with us. You. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow morning, start your day with Connie Chung and NBC News at Sunrise. Tomorrow morning on Today, a look at Boots and Beauty with Polly Bergen and Bob Hope on his birthday.